Time to check in with a forewarned meteorologist, Daniel McFarland. So the days have been pretty nice, but boy, is it still chilly in the evenings, Daniel. Yeah, mm -hmm. so definitely heavier jackets for later today if anyone has definitely. plans. And that wind might be picking up too. So if you have something like a windbreaker, that probably help as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I do want to show you the radar is clear for now, but that's not going to be the case over the next 48 hours. We will be having some changes with that. There's going to be some snow on the mountains, and unfortunately for the city of Tucson, this is not going to be a situation. We have snow down on the ground once again, but it is going to add some on the mountains, which is going to be nice. What we have going on right now is a lot of drier air moving in. So if you look closer towards the words El Paso right here, you do see a lot more of that white color that tells you that we're seeing a bit more humidity at the upper levels, but now moving in from spots like Phoenix, that drier air is really going to settle in. And that's one reason why we've seen warmer temperatures today versus even just yesterday and why tomorrow is going to be slightly warmer as well. But as of right now, you're starting to see the impacts of these low dew points and low humidity values. That 60, 70 C right here, if you come back and watch us at nine o'clock, that number is going to be in the upper 40s with as dry as it is right now. And that's going to be lasting throughout the next couple days. So go ahead and expect warmer afternoons and also much, much cooler morning as we can see out there. A big impact for your Sunday is going to be the winds. The morning should be just fine, mainly between about six and eight o'clock. Things should be calm. It's really closer towards nine o'clock. I'm looking at spots like cells and Sassabee to really start to see those winds picking up. If you're in Tucson, closer towards lunchtime. So around 12, one, two, could potentially have wind gusts between 20, 25 miles per hour, and then peaking at some point during the early evening. There's going to be some isolated spots with wind gusts between 30 and 40. I'm looking at you at the higher elevations in Cochise County. That's typically where those come down. Now, once we're done with the wind, the next thing we're going to be tracking is a small rain chance in between Monday evening and Wednesday morning. So most of that will be coming during the day on Tuesday. This isn't going to be a huge rain event, but we could have a tenth of an inch of rain in Tucson, and it does seem like it's mostly going to be Pima and Santa Cruz County. You could have some areas over there in Cochise County getting a bit of rain, but it does seem like it's going to be drying out before it eventually reaches you in that area. Now, once we're done with those rain chances, those colder temperatures are going to be back once again. I'm not seeing a whole lot of cold mornings though, like we've had over the last week. We really saw those chilly temperatures moving in and lasting throughout the entire week, Angelique. But as you can see here, down to 35 in between Tuesday and Wednesday, 32 looks to be our coldest night over the next seven days. If you compare that to the previous seven days, our coldest morning was down at 27. So it still feels chilly out there, but not as chilly as what we've had over the past couple weeks. I know, but we still can't put away the winter gear, though. We got to keep it there. No, probably need it for probably a month, month and a half or so. We, we warm up very quickly here, don't we?